It seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Oh! Dang, son. Yo, 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 you backward knee pad looking butt. Get out of here, bro. Looking like, looking like you're trying to protect his shins, bro. Come on, what are you skateboarding? Bro, why are you wearing a fanny pack, but it's facing the wrong way, bro? Come on. Your fanny pack and your shit guards are the only thing on backwards, bro. Oh! <laughs> Frank is out here destroying lives and taking names, dude. Frank Radici. Yo, Grandma, did you take your medication today? Because you're, <laughs> you're losing it. <laughs> oh! Shoo! Got him. <laughs> Frank is actually a savage, bro. Can you please calm down? Rubbish. <laughs> We're like, you don't know enough to recognize Grandma's music. <gasps> oh! What? Welcome back to the Pokemon Sword and Shield co-op Let's Play Soul Link. Ryan was just in the middle about talking about something a little bit personal, so I figured to hit the record button just to kind of put him on blast. Um, are you ready? We were not talking about sex before this recording session. <laughs> Welcome on back to the best Sword and Shield Let's Play on YouTube. <laughs> what? Sex? Never heard of her. How are you guys doing? Thank you all so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic insert day here. Um, also, Saturday. Saturday. Sa it, is this on your channel? Mm -mm. This is your channel. Oh, your shout yeah, no. out to the couch crew. What's up, guys? We're bulk recording right now. Wow, who would have thunk we're going to not do day of anymore? It's currently almost midnight, so that way we can actually get on top of the ball with the recording for this project. The next episode of the series will be on my channel tomorrow. Hopefully you're excited about that. And also, do I have a fun story for you? In between episodes, I forgot to save. Do you know what else you forgot to do? What else? And this is the first time I've ever gotten the chance to say this, but oh no. you oh forgot no. to share your screen. <laughs> oh! I, I, this is the first time. You guys, we talk about sharing screens occasionally here on the channel, but this is the first time I have ever started sharing my screen before Ryan. Ryan always beats me to it. This is like, this is like a, this is like a new record. I should go in the Guinness Book of World Records for this. I've been bested. I gotta be honest. So anyways, because I forgot to save at the end of the last episode, I had to replay through up to this point. So if my levels are a little bit different, then that's why. I also totally added a bond to my team off camera. You guys didn't see me catch it. Darn. But we're gonna be taking on the third gym leader in today's episode. If you're excited, you should hit the like button. It's a fire type gym leader, so it's lit, fam. Go comment that on Dylan's newest video. Heck yeah, you're doing something. If you guys did miss the previous episode, then why, why are you here? Yeah, what the heck? You guys Go back are, and watch the first 16. You know, I don't I, I typically forgive a lot of sinners, right? Oh, really? But yes. This is the exception, I gotta say. Now, what I will say though, another thing, I wanted to start this episode off with a little bit of a bang, right? Because I have a special cool. feeling about this episode. It's not just this episode, actually, it's this bulk recording session that we're doing here. Okay. We are gonna uh, be right. starting this bulk recording session off with the symbolic ceremonious carrot. So can we all, Ooh. can we all together, please? Moment of silence for the carrot. I'm the only person that's around here, but okay, sure, together. So how long is this silence going to last? Shh. You shush. I asked a very valid question. I'd like to thank the carrots that have grown their way into this world. Their progression is inspiring. And this baby carrot that is slightly moist in my saliva mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is a product of the progression of the carrot kind. Amen. Anyways, yeah, shout out to Amen. Carrots. You already know what's up. Hey, go on, right, Team so Ryan. Yeah, let's go over Team Recap because on my side, I definitely need to because I changed things a little bit in between episodes. Also, I have a very quick question for you. Mm -hmm. Did you just say Amen? Yep. Yo, have, is, have you been saying it like that your whole life? No, I switch. Oh, really? So you're a switch. Yeah, wait, are, are, you, okay. are you an Amen or an Amen? No, I'm an Amen, dude. Oh. Hardcore, been amen since day one, bro. You see, I, I think I think it's actually amen. I think that's like what you're supposed really? to say. Yo, but... question of the day: Is it amen or amen? Go comment on Dylan's newest video. 
<laughs> God, bro, we are literally, Dylan's going to hate us. Anyways, Dude, uh, can we get a shout off? out, by the way? I'm so sorry to cut you off. I promise we're going to do the team recap afterwards. I'm just feeling some kind of way in this episode so far. Can we give a shout out to the people who went over to Dylan's newest video and asked him, how are your nipples doing? Because holy crap, those are the absolute <laughs> legends. Shout out to you guys. It Anyways. Really funny. It was really funny. Anyways, without further ado, we have Hardy level 25 with the move Sing Leaf, Tornado, Magical Leaf, and Razor Leaf. We have Marsh level 25 with Brock Blast, Flame Charge, Sand Tomb, and Ancient Power. We also Ooh. have Morgan at level 26 with Nasty Plot, Snarl Thief, and Hone Claws. We have Haley level 26 with Swift Water Pulse, Water Gun, and Sucker Punch. And then last but not least, we have TMX level 26 with Spike, Spark, Bite, Nuzzle, and Switch. Oh, no, not last but not least, we also have Dio level 27 with Sucker Punch, Metal Sound, Revenge, and Mud Shot. So we're going to be going Heck to yeah. this fire type gym today. I think our team is actually like, we're, we're Pretty set. We got Haley here. We'll be fine. Okay, so over here on my side of things, we have Assassin, the Thievel, Dark Type, Rocket at level 28 with the Runaway ability with Quick Attack, Snarl, Assurance, and Sucker Punch. We've got Biohaze, our Toxel here, Rocket at level 27 with the Electric and Poison Typing, holding the Magnet to power up his singular Electric Type attack. Rattled ability with Nuzzle, Growl, Flail, and Acid. We've got It's me! The Corefish here, Rocket at level 25, Water Typing, Hypercutter ability with Taunt, Bubble Beam, Knock Off, and Double Hit. We got Paul Rudd, the Corvus Squire here, Rocket at level 28 with the Pure Flying Typing, Unnerve ability, and the moves of Pluck, Fury Attack, Power Trip, and Home Claws. We have Carson, named after my boy Carson Rocks, our starter, the Raboot here, Rocket at level 30 with the Fire Typing, holding a Charcoal. Blaze ability with the moves of Double Kick, Flame Charge, Ember, and Headbutt. He learned Headbutt in between episodes. RX Joe, our brand new Carcoal. First of all, I named this thing after RX Joe because in my sword Nuzlocke live streams, he specifically told me to get <coughs> her coal so then that way we could take on the fire type gym leader. This is going to be the reason why we're going to win. And I'm talking about that on my side and Frank's side. Carcoal literally counters this gym leader. Yeah, I'll be honest. So you guys know in my master mode, I'm a little bit behind right now. So this is actually my first time uh, going into this gym. Ryan actually has done it in his Nuzlocke already. So I'm excited to like, I don't know, get to experience this fresh, man. And I like fire types. And also, I don't know why I coughed into the microphone earlier. I'm in a really yeah, weird a mood right now. a little bit disrespectful, right to it be honest. No, honestly, it really was. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I was a little bit concerned, okay? I was like, okay, either he's really interrupting me during an important team recap while I was shouting out RX Joe or he's getting a testicular exam <laughs> underneath the camera. And there it is again. Yo, Frank, doc how yo, are your balls doing? <laughs> Dr. Phil, can you chill? <laughs> Anyways. Like, like, <laughs> like Frank, on a man-to-man, friend-to-friend -to -friend basis, okay? Mono a buono, okay? How are your balls? Balls are doing great, man. Gotta okay, say. Okay, cool. Second question. How did you get Dr. Phil? I, I got connections. Um, but actually, I was going to mention this kind of a side note, right? But I bought these okay. new joggers off Amazon. And I got to say, like, Frank. dude. What? what? Are we trying to get demonetized out here? You literally just spread your legs for the people. Okay, 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 Ryan, calm yourself. All right, they're clothed, but yeah, no. Got these new joggers. Gotta say, they fit really nicely around the uh, the the area. Anyways, slow moving, aren't you, Astro? Ankles. I've already gone and earned my fire, but my ankles feel great. They made a fire Kabu is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Oh, that's so dangerous. This man literally got third degree burns. Okay, even my strongest oh. team it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. <laughs> Touch and go, okay. Get a yeah, shift on, a Asteroid. I bet you could beat the Man of Fire, too. Wait, what'd you say? I'm sorry for cutting you It was you a little off. giggity, to be honest. A little bit of a touch and go action, bro. Me and Frank do that on the weekends. Yeah, no, that was definitely a... He literally just had a one-night stand with the gym leader. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> and not just any gym leader, an old man gym leader at that, bro. <laughs> Honestly, though, you know, I respect... I respect the grind. Hey, quite, dude, quite literally. is a chap, I'll be honest, mm. all right? He is a full snack. I love him. He's a, he's a chap and a half. I'm actually, I'm really excited for this gym, dude, especially because I love the fire type. So I battled this gym leader in my sword Nuzlocke, right? But that's as far as I made it. So today, I already know what to expect in today's episode. But anything after this in our bulk recording session, it's going to be blind for the both of us. I'm so excited about it. Ooh, wait, what is this? Okay. Welcome to the fire type challenge. Well, we gym just, we just battle. run around in some grass for the fire type challenge. Okay. Yes, that's quite literally what we do. <laughs> the gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the... You're kidding. This is the fire... No, no, it's cool. It's cool. Trust me. Just just read it. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you're wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Yeah, so, so here's the thing. Here's the thing, Okay. Uh, I'm going to start in the bottom right corner. That's what my chat was telling me was the smartest, best plan of attack. You can start wherever you want. Well, let me kind of explain this to you a little bit, okay? Uh-huh. So, it's a double battle, okay? The people that we're doing this with 
are our opponents. They're also trying to catch these Pokemon to earn points. Oh, oh, oh so it's so wait, wait, wait. So what, what, what is, I, I don't, I don't, I guess I don't understand what wait the, for it. what? Just, 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 just play. You'll figure it out. I, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding what the, like what the strat should be. Like, should you be trying to knock out the other trainer's Pokemon or should you just be trying to focus on catching? Like if you knock out the other trainer's Pokemon, does that prevent them from catching? Yes. Okay. Yo, then that, that I think but that, see, oh. look, he's doing that to you too. Oh, this guy's a, mm, I got yeah. some choice words for you. Like, oh, isn't this boy. actually like a cool concept? I, I really think the Game Freak thought outside of the box on this mission. This is actually, I, yeah, actually this is cool. So it's like, it's like, it's like you're, it's a double battle, but you're working against your partner. That's interesting. They've That's never interesting. done anything like that in a Pokemon game before. Like that is definitely unique thinking. I love I, this. Yeah, I, I like it, but what does this have to do with fire types? I don't know. There's fire Pokemon in the grass. <laughs> I okay. Frank, do you do you see the floor mat? <laughs> oh, I must have missed. I must have missed the bright red color scheme. Shoot. Exactly. It looks like an Animal Crossing carpet, to be honest. <laughs> so so wait. If we defeat him, then we get a point. Yes, but if you catch him, you get two points. Honestly, I'd rather just kill him. I feel like that'd be easier. Yeah, it probably would. And then you got to get five points in order to uh, get to the gym battle. And also, the wild Pokemon do respawn. It, it, it's not hard. It's probably the easiest one out of all of these. And that includes running into sheep. This is actually... this is. I, I like the idea, though. I like the concept, for sure. Yeah, definitely. See, so in my Nuzlocke, we actually treated this as an encounter. I, I don't see why you can't. I feel like that's fair. So you, you just got one encounter for this... Um... Yeah. For for this for this for this gym, for that's this interesting. Gym. Yeah, interesting. Which I don't think there's ever been a time that you can get an encounter in a gym. I might be wrong. Now that I'm thinking mm. about it. Can you fish in Misty's gym? It's really. Insane. I actually I don't I don't know to be honest. This is this is all so up in the air. So wait, if they kill the Pokemon, then they get a point. Is that how this works? Yep. Okay, this is this is actually really easy. Then I mean, I I I like the idea, but I wish it was more difficult. Yeah, this is 100% the easiest one out of all of the all of the missions, but it's still a unique idea. And that's all that matters. Yeah, that's creative. Game that's Freak creative. tried. Game and Freak. Did Game Freak did try. Oh, it's a Litwick! Yo, shout out to me and Keyshawn's Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke. That's a Liddy Liddy Litwick. I love Litwick, dude. He he's seriously one of my favorites Frank. from Gen Five. Frank, you said it wrong. What? It's a Liddy Liddy Litwick. Oh, sorry. The litty, 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 ditty, witty. Uh, Litwick. That was also wrong, Frank. It's my litty, favorite. Litty, Litwick. Try again. Okay, Ryan, listen, man. That's a nickname. All right, you got to cut me some slack on that one. Give me the nickname. I got a point. Skippity dude. So wait, the nickname dude. that you're going to go with is Litty, Titty, McWitty, Witty, Litwick? Yeah, Litty, Titty, McWitty, Skitty, McFritty, oh, Witty. Skitty, titty. McFitty. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, I, I just. you said Diddy. No, no, I would never say that. I don't know why you'd ever assume. I don't know. Okay, maybe it could have been Discord. All right, maybe I don't know. I just, just 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 give me a little bitty on this one, Frank. Absolutely. This man really just went for the fake out on me. Can you can you not right now? Can you just can you just can you just not? He's out here with the competitive strats, bro. Okay, he's out for blood. That is a salazzle. Yo, speaking to the competitive strats, I don't know. I don't know. We we were. I was actually while Ryan was getting caught up with this game here. Um, we had some downtime, so I was sitting on Showdown working in the beta. Of, of Gen 8, and bro, mm -hmm. bro, I am so excited to get like back into competitive with this game. It's so exciting, dude. Yeah, so I was sitting next to him while he was team building, while he was battling random people with Gen 8 mons. I gotta be honest, I'm also really pumped. I want to try VGC in Gen 8. Maybe like against members or something. I feel like it'd be so fun. No, yeah, it, it's exciting. I think, yo, dude, it'd be really cool too. Um, I, I don't know how like realistic this would be, but it would be really cool to like go to a regional tournament at some point when they, when they come near us. Actually, that'd be fun. Like once we, we kind of, yeah. Like once we kind of get going with competitive, we should, we should just go have fun. Go to a VGC tournament. We can maybe meet up with some viewers. Yeah. Hang out. I think, well, I think we can maybe sick. compete, probably lose badly, yeah. but it'd be fun. It'd be really fun. Um, see, so yeah, I'm excited and I'm not even like, like obviously the new mods are exciting, the, you know, um, the new moves, abilities, all that stuff is, is exciting. But the thing that's actually the most exciting to me is that this game seems like convenient enough to where you don't have to gen in your mods.
to get yep. a team in a decent amount of time, which is awesome. You can literally, like, there's so many items in the game and so many quality of life changes that they made that make it accessible for more people, and I love that. So, yeah. I'm very no, excited Frank for that. Frank actually competed in a regional tournament at one time. Yeah, I went, it was back in, it was way back in 2014, but I, I went, uh, I went to a regional tournament in Wisconsin. It was so much fun. I, I seriously, like, I love doing that sort of thing. Uh, and I've, I love competitive, especially in Gen 6. Gen 7, I totally fell out of it. But Gen 6, I really loved. And this is feeling like Gen 6. So I'm See, excited. See, okay. I'm also in the same boat. I'm, I'm waiting for the one comment, you know, on Dylan's channel. Of like, oh my god, Ryan, you played competitive? Kind of. Like, I casually played competitive in Gen 6. Like, I would just kind of hop on and have fun on Battle Spot and stuff. Gen 7, I literally had no interest in it. Gen 7 was just not no, interesting gen, gen, to me. Gen 7, Gen 7 killed it for me. It was just like, I, I don't know. I it just, I just, I just didn't. I just didn't. Yeah, I also just didn't. I just really, <laughs> I just really didn't. But Gen 8, bro! Gen 8's looking like a spicy meatball. I'm excited. No, these games are just so much fun. You know what else is a spicy meatball, Frank? What? This gym battle, because it's a fight. Uh, I thought you were going to say sinking. Five! You know, I also was about to say sinking, but then I thought of the whole gym battle comment. I thought that would be more clever. Wait, and, why but, is he here? He walks out with us? Yeah, this is dope, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait. I, I, hold up. This is the same arena that Chairman Rose did the thing in, right? Yeah. Why does it look completely different? You know, arenas can change. Do you oh. not know that? I get, I, you know, I guess that makes sense. I guess that does make yeah. sense. Like the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, the Red Wings, which is a hockey team, play there, but so do the Pistons, who are a basketball team. They kind of swap out the ice for court. It's really cool. Arenas can change. There's also concerts that can be held there. Wow. Yeah, it's whack, isn't it? Wow. All right, want to be Kabu or should I? I want to be Kabu. Welcome. I am Kabu, the fire type gym leader. <laughs> I am the, Kabu. <laughs> Kabu, the fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Nessa's water type. Ah, but that's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. Diggy. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Yo, this, this is really this, hot. This arena's sick. Yo, Ness is hot, but Ness is hot, but this 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 gym is hot, you know? I know what you're saying, bro. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go! God, we are so good at that. Oh, first shot, boy! Alright, Sable, Dude. you're gonna solo this entire entire gym. You ready for this? Let's go, boy. Bro, he has a nine tails. That's so sick. I love him. I love him. I love that like the first three gyms are, are grass, water, fire. That is sick. That Dude, is so it's making sick. me excited. I have no clue what the next type could possibly be. Like they're gonna start thinking outside the box on it, I bet. Yeah, I bet it's gonna be sound type. Oh could you imagine they just drop a new type on these games without even like announcing it in any of the trailers? They were just like, okay, yeah, by the way, guys, like there's no sound Pokemon leading up to the gym. The gym just kind of unlocks them. Loki, that'd be dope. We just start battling like an X Cloud or something, and he just goes, ah! <laughs> and it's just like, it's super effective. And we're like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Noni? <laughs> oh my god. He goes for like a really dumb move, like surf. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yo, you remember you remember when Fairy Type was announced, or like Sylveon was, was announced, and everybody was trying to figure out the typing? Dude, mm -hmm. that is, I like, I have such fond memories of that because what they did, oh, right, in case you guys don't know, they just they just released Sylveon, but they did not say her, her type at mm. all. So everybody was like, oh, it's probably flying type, it's probably bug type, it's probably psychic type. Uh, but no, yeah. they just. And then E3 2013, babe. Baby! Yeah, they just baby. They dropped, they dropped Fairy Type. It was so cool. Exactly. Like, it was just really, really sick. I genuinely think that X and Y were the best hyped up games. Yeah, well, I, I I don't know. I gotta say, I think the marketing for this game was better than XY. XY, really? I yeah. would debate that. I would, I would disagree. Well, X and Y, they, they had a, they had a couple of YouTube trailers, but I don't think. I don't know. Well, I mean, you gotta think about their E three was so much stronger than Sword and Shield, in my opinion. Yeah, their E three. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I gotta, I gotta look back on a lot of the X Y stuff. I gotta say though, like leading up to X Y, I was much more excited for X Y. Me too. Um, like, it's because they just kind of had things about X and Y that 
I don't know. They, they, they just hyped up the games better. It felt like with Sword and Shield, they were trying to keep almost everything on the down low, which worked almost until the games went like a faucet, like a faucet. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, I, I actually I like the fact that they didn't talk about a lot. Um, mm -hmm. that, it if actually the didn't happen. It would have been awesome. Yeah, no, I, I kind of wish the games wouldn't have leaked, but um, yeah, it's like, I don't know. I, I think it's cool the way they went about it. XY, XY, I think was a good balance though. They announced a lot, but they, there was also some some secrets in there. Exactly, I think that was the best, dude. Oh man, now you got me thinking about like um, E3 2013, because not only did they have incredible Pokemon announcements, but that was also when Smash was being hyped up. That's when they announced Smash on the Wii U and 3DS. That's when like Mega Man was released and stuff. Like, oh dude. snap! That was yeah, that's a double whammy right there. Like, okay, when you get hit with. Fairy type Gen 8. Hey, you can move diagonally and Mega Man's <laughs> in Smash. Also, there's Smash. Yeah, it's like you can sit on a bench, Mega Evolutions, Mew 3. I mean, come yeah. on. Oh, dude, I forgot. Yeah, that E3, they that's when they announced Mega Mew 2. Why Blastoise Charge on Venusaur, right? Yeah, no, because everybody, dude, everybody thought, because Mew 2 was actually released with the movie first, right? And yeah. everybody thought it was Mew 3. It was so mm -hmm. cool. Dude, Mega Evolutions, and also on top of that, the first 3D Pokemon games, like, that was just, that was another level. That yeah. was another level. It really I... was another level. Like, honestly, dude, those games, now that I'm looking back, X and Y were done brilliantly. Yeah, X and Y, X and Y was sick, X and Y was sick. Like, what are some of your guys' opinions on this, if you remember from back then? Yo, my emo boy is thick! He's Ooh, thick! Look at, him, look at his green mittens! He does not care about the winter, bro! He's like, ah. Why is that the noise that you gave him? Sounds like it. Burn Brights on the Scorch Lot Jake. It's Gigantamax! Not no. Dynamax! That's what I thought at first, too. No, we mean thought at first. No, it's for real! Right, he right. Sa he said really Gigantamax! Really Look at him! He Isn't that the exact same thing? No, 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 no! No, really? that's that's new! Are you sure? Yeah, look how much longer he is! No, yeah, 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 no, 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 he said Gigantamax. If it were Dynamax, it would have been the same model, but just bigger. But no, that's oh. a different model. That's crazy, look at him. Why would they only give it to that gym leader, but not the water and the grass? I bet, you know, I, I bet moving forward. Oh my God, oh the my God. The gym leader's gonna have Gigantamax? I bet moving forward, they'll have more Gigantamax. Yeah, it says G-Max. G Yo, he became a, he became a, a what? I love like this Chinese thing. dragon. No, I, I love him. Well, okay, do you know what's crazy, right? I hate centipedes, I hate millipedes, I hate spiders, but I love Pokemon based on those creatures. <laughs> Dude, look at, how, weird. look at how long he is. Oh, I love like, Okay, him. what I love, and, and this is what we talked about in my live stream. Dude, a, it, it looks like he's based off a, ch a Chinese dragon. Yeah. Yeah, Which I no. feel like fits Kabu insanely well, like a fire type, this old dude, the way he talks and his design and everything. Yeah, no, it it, wor it works really well. I love this. Look mm. at look at me! Oh, yo, good job. Here we go. We got my thick rabbit, boy. Time for Easter. Almost <laughs> a better word. Time for Easter britches. Bleep, bleep. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you him? won. Yo, it's even raining in the stadium. Gosh darn. Gosh darn. Did you just beat him? Yep, I'm off to regard Same as here. the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Yo, they're literally saying that about every gym leader. Clearly, yeah. your challenge surpasses my many years of experience. I still have I'll much see. to learn. Yeah, Lars just the region of the conceited gym leaders. Yeah, yo, honestly, bro, with Leon as well, Leon's like, I am undefeated. Oh, did I tell you that I'm undefeated? Oh, yes, <laughs> undefeated. Exactly. Like, literally, they're just all conceited. They're, they're, all really, of them. Co they're really cocky. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I don't know that you and your Pokemon become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof. Yo! Ah! I love... Okay. As hype as this is, it low-key kind of annoys me. Why? The name of this badge is the fire badge. Why? Like, okay. In older Pokemon games, they gave them, like, a little bit more creative names. Like, thinking about, like, the Knuckle Badge from Brawly, you know? Or, like, the... Boulder badge from Brock, you know, but but fire badge. Oh, have they have they all been like water badge, grass badge? I haven't been paying attention. I just know that this one's fire. 
Yeah, I, I I wish it was like the the scorch badge or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Like okay, that seems like a little bit of a cop out or lazy writing or something. Maybe well maybe maybe they just ran out of synonyms for fire. I mean, there's a lot of fire type gym leaders. Yeah, I don't think there's been a scorch badge though. I think you literally just came up with a name. And it works. Second, that took it game freak months. <laughs> <laughs> it wor it works too because the send a scorch, you know. God, game missed opportunity, bro. <laughs> All right, voice hop. Asteroid, Ryan, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Drizzle and Carco will be the ones, but still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. Woo! I fell off, fell into the girl oh, in front no! of me. Hop, oh. hop, come back, it's okay, it's okay. Oh. Challenger, Asteroid, and Ryan, I see you've done a fine <laughs> job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this tomb to commemorate what you accomplished here today. <laughs> the way that his mouth moves, that's so weird. He looks like an animatronic, bro. He's like, oh, my, 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 like Doritos. Yeah, no, no, look at his mouth. He's literally like, oh, my, 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 my. Yeah, he's terrifying. We got Will-O-Wisp. Take Ooh. one of our uniforms. It's the one that has flames on it. He sounds Ooh. like Chairman Rose now. Yeah, but like a weirdly softer one. He's not nearly as loud. Wait, wait, starting in the city of Hammerlock, head back down to the water area, starting to make your way to Hammerlock. Oh, okay, I know where we have to go. I actually, I went there in a previous episode. Yeah, on accident. On accident, yeah. So it's cool. Now we're now we gotta head back into the wild area, go to that place that's north, and then we can go into the town that's in the animated intro. Woo! I'm excited. Cool. Keep reading. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find some for ourselves. Now we can catch the po hopefully, hopefully there's more Gen 8 mons in there now that we can catch. Yeah, that'd be sick. Now that we have teams of six, and then like we're actually starting to like get something. Yeah. God, hop, can you oh. stop talking to me? I don't know, dude. These cutscenes are pretty. Well, Look at the lighting. What was the point of that? He just looked at me and was like, yeah, I'm going to put you into a cutscene. And then, oh. Hey, 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 hey. It leads to another cutscene. Hurry up, up asteroid. Bro, this... I'm so confused. Huh? That's Frank right now. <laughs> Wait, you're saying I'm Kabu? No, no, no. You're Hop. You go, huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, literally. You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who become the next champion, yeah? Stop being, stop being a cock, dude. Um... There are so many trainers who never manage to get the three badges and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to... Aww. Aww. What a nice guy. <gasps> <gasps> I'm so glad the gym leaders are are like more integrated. And and the, these three are cool because they're like they're like the introductory gym, you know? Yeah. <sighs> I love this. I love this. Game Freak made a good game. I like this. We, we made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. <laughs> Asteroid Hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing that you defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. <gasps> oh, I love these guys. These are good games. Game Freak made good games. I'm so Who glad that thought? I'm so glad that not only do the gym leaders have more of a presence in these games, but the gyms themselves are so much more of an event. I love I that. Know. So I'll be to send you off with a proper sporty chant. <gasps> what? Husker prayer. Hustle, oh. hustle, hustle, hop. You could do it. You could do it. Asteroid. Asteroid spitting bars. Hope you don't uh. get destroyed. Vo in the wild area. Hope it doesn't scare ya. Oh. Frank Radice yeah. mixtape coming 2020. If you're excited, comment <laughs> not on this video. I'm just, I'm just saying they don't call him the fire type gym leader for nothing. Oh, dude, he's spitting Ooh. bars that are hotter than Kabu, to be honest. Yo, he's literally like a walking sun. The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. I love this game. Keep Thanks on you keeping all. on. Yo, I love... Oh, my God. Come on, Asteroid. Let's head for Hammerlock. That, I wonder why they call it Hammerlock. That's super interesting. Maybe it's because Game Freak's been watching Poketubers lately. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, it literally is like a nuz. Oh, I didn't even realize yo, that. I cannot wait for the one Poketuber to drop their Pokemon Sword and Shield Hammerlock, and everyone's going to be like, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me? <laughs> Every time they go to Hammerlock City, they have to beat one of their Pokemon over the head with a hammer. Frank, calm down. That was brutal. This is a kid's game. Bro, this is sorry. Sword and Shield. Sorry. What? Sorry, sorry King Corfish. Yeah, Asteroid Mania video. Say it again for the people in the back, okay? Sorry. As mad as I sorry. am. Apologize to people. You know, you know, you know, guys, I I I just I just I don't mean to make excuses, but I think sins are contagious. 
And Excuse being a, being around Ryan has caused me to catch the sinful plague. The, I just, I, I just, I, I just, I just gotta be honest. I just, Frank, I just Frank, gotta be real. I just Frank, gotta be real. What did I say about being honest in the YouTube videos? Okay, we lie. Oh, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Ryan, you're a great friend, and I love and support you. What? <laughs> That's the lie that you came up with. What? <laughs> Ryan, take my sinful plague back, bro. <laughs> your your editing is really good, and I appreciate you as a friend. <laughs> Y'all was savage today. <laughs> okay, I feel bad. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Guys, I cannot believe that he actually just stiff arm. No. Oh, I missed. No, that would have been funny. Don't stiff arm. <laughs> Oh. I'm telling the truth now. I love and appreciate you. Or was that a lie? Or was that a lie? I don't know. Guys, guys, when he walked away from me, he looked me in the eyes and he just goes. Frank is actually crazy. You do not understand. And he did it in the mic again. Okay, just read hop dialogue, bro. <laughs> Asteroid hammerlock is up that way. Got it. Okay, I literally yeah, I saw I'm in the in my intro, Hop. Absolutely, Hop. Did you miss it at the first 30 seconds of the video? Come on. Uh, it's the best sword and shield display on YouTube, Hop. Why haven't you been watching? Why haven't you been keeping up? Absolutely. And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. I'm actually really I excited I vote rush this. without a single detour. I, I, Who's but, surprised? Well, Ryan. <laughs> so I know what I'm doing. I'm getting myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page of the Tale of My Legend. <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. Okay, The ben. champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. God, I love him! He's cool. Like, I, I love his character. I just hate the design. Yeah. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Oh! Dang, son. Yo, 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 you backward knee pad looking butt. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> looking like looking like you're trying to protect his shins, bro. Come on. What are you skateboarding? Bro, bro, why are you wearing a fanny pack, but it's facing the wrong way, bro? Come on. Yo, yo, your fanny pack and your shit guards are the only thing on backwards, bro. <laughs> oh! Got Frank him. is out here destroying lives and taking names, dude. Frank Radisi. Yo, Grandma, did you take your medication today? Because you <laughs> think you're losing it. <laughs> Ow! Shoo! Got him. <laughs> Frank is actually a savage, bro. Can you please calm down? <laughs> Rubbish. We're like, you don't know enough to recognize Grams. So <gasps> oh! What? My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. Is that I actually Hop's comeback is my brother is the best <laughs> champion the world's ever seen. He's like that one kid in preschool. If you knock over their Legos, he goes, I'm telling my mom she works at General Motors. <laughs> like, my dad can beat dude. up your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, I actually like, th this is so funny. He literally came back with a more like joke and he thought it he was a roast. We're actually watching two toddlers going at it. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> Anyways. How tiresome. Fine. I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. Yo, this is actually, not going to lie, I hate to cut off the roasting, but this is actually super interesting. It's like, for once when it comes to battling, we're totally out of it. It's just them. I like It's this. just them wanting to go at it. Dude, Game Freak made good games. I know you challenged Asteroid to battle in Galar Mind that we did not speak of and lost to him there. <laughs> and I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this... Oh, that's you. All this prattle about Ryan and the champion and whatnot. Do you have anything of your own to show? Yo, you gotta hit him where it hurts. That's true. I'll it's show... Really I'll, I'll show this Wally my real skills in battle. <laughs> Bro, did you see Hop's face? I think he's actually going to go beat up beat. Dude, Hop, Hop was like, Hop was like, hold me back, hold me back, hold me back. <laughs> Meanwhile, our characters is like, go ahead. Yeah, we're just like, have fun, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get at him, bro. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield. Let's play the best let's play on YouTube. I think this is the perfect time that I need to wrap things up. What do you think, bro? Yeah, absolutely. All right, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and the next episode will be on my channel tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Bro, I'm having so much fun. I can't wait to record the next episode.
It's fun. This is a this is a good time. This is a good time. Yeah. Any final words for the people, bro? Uh, no, thank you all so much for everything. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys all have a great day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow on my channel, right? My channel. You sure? I'm positive. Oh, yeah, because we recorded two this morning. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. It, it is it is your channel. Anyways, we love you guys. Um, Definitely look out for the next episode, and uh, mm -hmm. we appreciate your support. Yep. Peace! Peace, peace.